Transitioning from Pediatric to Adult Thalassemia Care Old Photo of Young Aaron Blown Bubbles with His Doctor Jerry Finkelstein, MD, Aaron's Pediatric Hematologist I like to tell people that my doctor took care of me not only in terms of my health but in terms of my emotional well-being as well. My doctor growing up was very helpful for my family and for me in learning about my disease. Aaron Chang, thalassemia patient. I remember when I was young, my doctor actually hoisted me onto one of his chairs and showed me blood under the microscope. And that was how I kind of got started learning about thalassemia and learning about the science behind it. And I attribute my happiness to my doctor. Until I left for college, my parents managed everything to do with my health. When I went away from Los Angeles to go to college, I had to learn pretty quickly how to take charge and uh, take care of myself. When I started college, there were several important things that I needed to learn how to do. For instance, I had to learn to schedule all of my blood transfusions several months in advance and make sure that they didn't conflict with important events like exams. Daniel Bauer, MD, PhD. I needed to learn how to reach out to my doctors when I had questions about thalassemia and other issues related to health. I think it is generally a good idea for people to make sure that their adult hematologist Hematologist is a doctor who treats blood disorders communicates with their pediatric hematologist so that the transition can be as seamless as possible. Finally, building a good support network among my friends and telling my teachers and people who knew that I would be gone for my medical treatments was also very important as well. One tip that I have for parents with children who have thalassemia is to allow them the freedom and the responsibility of managing their own care a little bit before they transition into college just so that they get a little bit of experience before they're on their own. Throughout the course of college, I learned how to take better care of myself. I learned the importance of exercise and eating healthy, things that generally people should do to be healthy anyway, but I felt like were more important for me with the chronic disease. When I started college, I knew that I was gonna have roommates and this was a very new experience for me. I waited until we got to know each other a little bit more and then I told them that I would be out several um, days every month for blood transfusions. And to my surprise, they were not only accepting but very curious about thalassemia and so I spent a lot of time teaching them about it and about the things that I had to do in order to manage my blood condition. Thalassemia is an inherited blood disorder in which the body produces abnormal hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen. Over time, my roommates became my closest friends, and they even made a point of uh, visiting me at the hospital uh, as often as they could. In appreciation of the late Jerry Finkelstein, MD, CDC thanks Aaron Chang for sharing his personal story. To learn more, www.cdc.gov thalassemia, www.thalassemia.org.